21, check 124. TD, RSO, wind waiting is green, RSO is green. Copy, TD is green. T minus seven minutes and counting. We are going for launch. This is Rev. Michelle Hopkins. Space.com reported that NASA launched two small rockets from Virginia's eastern shore on the 4th of July. Here they are taking off from NASA's Wallops Flight Facility. Here's the facility on Google Earth and I will leave the coordinates in the description. Here we have the two rocket launchers and the corresponding antenna. One of these rockets delivered a huge quantity of lithium into our atmosphere. in FEMA Region 3. Here we see the two different rocket trails as they went up. This one did have the lithium and deployed its payload, payload. Deploy. as you see here. All of these red dots our payload deployment. This is all lithium. Now NASA claims that the reason why they had a joint project with Japan was that they were showing Japan how lithium is used in the atmosphere to aid in the use of frequency for communications and military purposes. That lithium deployment was directed northeastward, and you may be able to see some of the undulations here. Then it was turned westward, and then directed in a southerly direction. And as you can see, NEXRADs and satellites are spiking the entire area of FEMA Region 3 from Maine all the way down to North Carolina. Lithium is a soft silver white metal, the lightest metal and the least dense solid element. Like all alkali metals, lithium is highly reactive and flammable. Lithium exhibits a metallic luster because of its high reactivity and is therefore highly reactive to electromagnetism that can be created by frequency. In fact, the nuclei of lithium is prized for its instability. Lithium never occurs freely in nature. Instead, it only appears in compounds which are ionic. Lithium-6 deuteride serves as a fusion fuel in staged thermonuclear weapons. Lithium and its compounds have several industrial applications, including heat-resistant glass, ceramics, and lithium batteries. Let's see if this doesn't sound familiar to you. Contact with moist air corrodes lithium surface quickly to a dull silvery gray, then black tarnish. And because of this, it is useful only for a short time as a conductive metal that falls upon the population below in the form of a mind-altering compound called lithium carbonate. And lithium is constantly being used to fortify artificially conductive skies. That is why, when used in chemtrails, lithium's use is very temporary, resulting in a dingy, gray, worthless chem dross. Lithium carbonate is commonly used as a mood stabilizing drug in the treatment of bipolar disorder. And here is where it gets interesting. Here is how it affects you and me. 
Lithium carbonate is commonly used as a mood stabilizing drug in the treatment of bipolar disorder, particularly of mania in depression. Though subjected to lithium, some side effects include an overall dazed feeling, a fine tremor in the hands and body, nephrogenic diabetes insipidus, nausea and headache, unbalanced electrolytes. Hypothyroidism is six times greater with the introduction of lithium, which in turn increases the likelihood of developing clinical depression. Lithium is known to be responsible for weight gain. Lithium causes birth defects in newborn babies. This is an alert. Overdose may be fatal. Lithium toxicity manifestations include nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, breathlessness, ataxia, which is a disturbance of the equilibrium or spatial orientation, and gait. Confusion, lethargy, seizures, and coma, tremor, muscle twitching, convulsions, and renal failure, and cerebellar dysfunction. This is an additional alert. Lithium is corrosive, and it requires special handling to avoid skin contact and these people are releasing it into our atmosphere over us. Breathing lithium dust or lithium compounds which are often alkaline initially irritate the nose and throat. Well I know you've been feeling that. While higher exposure can cause a buildup of fluid in the lungs which is happening to me leading to pulmonary edema the metal itself is a handling hazard because of the caustic hydroxide produced when it comes into contact with moisture. Caustic because as a corrosive substance lithium will destroy and damage other substances with which it comes into contact, most especially living tissue. registered all 
all three triggers. Motor has burned out. This is Rev. Michelle Hopkins. Thank you for watching, and God bless you.